You know, we had a big win against uh, Munich, emotional win too, on the road in, in Munich, similar, similar to our win against Bamberg. You know, so uh, complacency and uh, the mental approach is going to be very important tomorrow. Even though we have an extra day right now to, to get ready. Um, it's important for us to understand that it's a very good basketball team we play tomorrow. A 10-man rotation, very talented team. They're first place in the Polish league. I think they just had a, they lost four games in a row there and just at the beginning of the Euro Cup and just had a, bad, a couple, you know, a bad 10 days or so. But it's a very, very good basketball team. Streak, so going on right now, are you just now practicing, focusing on like, keeping it going and doing the things like you are doing right now? Are you uh, not satisfied with certain things that you are doing? No, I think there's always, always things we can get better. And, uh, you know, like I said before, I really don't kind of look if we win or lose. I look if are we getting better or not. And, uh, you know, in the Munich game, I was obviously... I, wasn't real happy the way we played the first half, um, but I thought we really turned it around the second half, the way we competed, um, the way we fought for loose balls, the way we rebounded. Our effort the second half was, I thought, was very, very good. And uh, but we did not, we did not get 40 minutes. And uh, but like I said, we're a process, and you know the winning streak is nice. But I, I, I look at, are we getting better or not? And uh, we got a lot of work to do still. And now it looks like the NBA is um, coming back uh, on Christmas. Um, do you have the feeling that this will have, in, uh, have some sort of uh, effect on the club scene here? Not necessarily Bundesliga, but uh, uh, um, or the other uh, um, Interleagues. Are there's going to be? Is there going to be a big player movement? Or? I think there. Is. I think it's going to be an. It's another interesting time because there's a lot of teams that, that took NBA players and like Maccabi, for instance. They have the point guard who's one of the top, one of their top players. Um, Nancy with Batum, who's been player of the week a couple times in the Euro League. There's so many other scenarios too. So I think it's going to be a, an interesting time. Some of these teams are losing their, their best players and they have to find replacements. So, so it's going to be an interesting time. I mean, we're fortunate we, we, we went the way we did uh, from day one and said no NBA players and uh, we don't want a rental, so to speak. We didn't want a rental for, for one month or two months. You know, we wanted uh, to have a stable situation. and. Uh, and uh, we're fortunate that this was the close policy from, from day one and we, we stuck to it. How important is the combination um, Wood, Shafatze on the point guard position playing together? To <coughs> you know, I, 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 uh, it's a good question. I think when I got this job, they asked me, when we signed Wood, they said, what about Heiko? Mm -hmm. You know, I think I got that question, what about Heiko, what, do mean? what does this mean for Heiko? And I, I think I said that, you know, nowadays in modern basketball, the real good teams have two point guards. And uh, that's what that gives us, two, two real good point guards. And obviously that's one of, our, one of our strengths. And we play a lot, and they play a lot together. And... Uh, you know, and Heiko's playing very, very good basketball right now, and uh, um, you know he gives us a real uh, coming off. We, you know, we tried to start him at one time, but he really gives us a, a real lift coming off the bench. You know, which we need because Bryce is starting now, and Bryce was Bryce was going to be our energy guy coming off the bench and this and that. But you know, it's turned in that high. Bryce, we need Bryce's. 
played very, very well as a starter. And uh, Heiko gives us that energy coming in off the bench. Since both are pushing each other. Yeah, that, uh, yeah, they push each other. I mean, we have very competitive practices with, with them going at it. And like I told Heiko, and, and, and it's the same for Deshaun, it's a great situation for you in practice. And you, you have somebody to play against every day in practice and compete against and get better. Mm -hmm. And it's, they compete against each other in practice every day. And, uh, is there a rivalry between these two guys? Sure, I, I think in practice there is a rivalry. I mean, they, they compete. Deshaun's mm. a competitor. Competitor. Heiko's mm. a competitor. So they compete. Um, they don't give e they don't give each other a, an inch. Mm. And that's what you need in practice, and that's how that's how they you know I think they'll both get better. Mm. You know Deshaun too. But what, you know once the game starts, you can see that hey, they're on the same page. They're together, mm. playing together, pulling for each other. Mm. But that's what we were missing, I think, when we started practice as a team, um, the competitiveness. But, but the last, you know, six weeks, I think that's really picked up our competitiveness, you know, how we compete. You know, it's one of the most important things um, in a game situation is how you compete. You know, that's why when I go back to the Munich game, I didn't think we competed that well the first half, but I thought our comp competitiveness was excellent the second half. 